Right, good morning, Monday morning, 10 to nine. This week's video is going to be my experiences with the new product that I bought last week. Very, very quick recap. Got on my computer last week, jumped on to apple.com.au, found it, purchased it, paid for it. So now I'm just gonna unbox it and go through what's inside. Now, now I can't get into it. Except, wow, comes with the Olo Clip system. Oh, that's really nice. Quick start guide. <coughs> Good experience so far. Right, so this is the Olo Clip system, and this is the extra lens. So, this is the fisheye lens that you get. Wow. So, this is a key ring set that you get with it because, of course, you're going to have it on your key ring all the time. So what you get in the box is this little key ring with a stand, which I might use, who knows. You get the Olo Clip lens system that clips onto the iPhone and you get the super wide lens. So you can use it, you can use this at the same time. That'll be the front facing, that'll be the back facing. We'll, we'll test them out tomorrow. But for right now, I'm gonna go for a run. Oh wait, it's off season. Not going for a run. Right, good afternoon. It is currently Wednesday afternoon at about two o'clock. Yesterday, I didn't film at all, slack, slack. But I have been thinking for the last day how I can show you how good this Olo clip is. The, the hardest thing I had to sort of come to grips with was what is exactly the same no matter where you are in the world so I can sort of show the benefits of how wide this Olo Clip super wide lens gets. And I came up with it, a cricket pitch. So I'm standing in front of a cricket pitch that's just been laid at this uh, local school oval. I'm gonna walk back to where the current iPhone 10 lens needs to be. I'm gonna say I'm about 20 meters away from the cricket pitch, but as you can see, I have got the cricket pitch from this corner all the way to this corner in the shot and I am 20 metres away. This is the Olo Clip lens system. Like, if you have a look, like we're adding all that extra room to the other side of the cricket pitch by this Olo Clip system. Now the other benefit, I am just gonna quickly go back to how it was originally. This is how I normally do my vlogging. I've got a little mini tripod, arm outstretched, and this is the framing that you get. And this is the other beneficial bonus that I'm gonna get when I start using this Olo Clip lens system. Mount Wellington in all its glory behind me, which you probably can't see because of my head. Now with the Olo Clip system on, Phenomenal, you get so much more framing. And that's what I love about it. That is the bonus and the benefit that I just can't wait to use with this Olo Clip system. That's Wednesday. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about the other two devices that you get with the, with the set, which is the fisheye lens and the 15 by macro. And I've had a quick play around with them. Astonishing. Right, good afternoon, Thursday afternoon, and it's two o'clock. Today's quick video is going to be on this. This is the fisheye macro lens that you get with the Olo Clip set, and I thought I would test it out on these trees here very, very quickly. Fisheye, I, I can't get my head around it. So in video mode, this, this is the fisheye lens. I think there's zero use for this as a video tool. I think if you, I'll quickly take a very snappy quick photo to see what sort of funky effect you could get. But other than that, I just don't think there's absolutely any reason for that lens whatsoever. It's a bit of a gimmick. Now the macro lens on the other hand, phenomenal. All you have to do, so this is the lens that you get. All you do is you just unscrew the, the fish eye lens and you get the macro lens, which is literally 15 times magnifier. 
Now, the benefits that I've found with this so far is the fact that if you're using the iPhone 10 to zoom into something, the maximum you can go is 10 times in optical zoom. That's not a manual zoom, that's an optical zoom. So basically, it gets pixelated, it gets distorted, the view doesn't stay clean. The 15 by macro lens on, on the Oloclip system, what it does is it actually keeps a true depth of field with the image that you're trying to do. Now, it's only really good for photos and I suppose if you could use it for a bit of B-roll, to be honest, you have to get literally millimeters away from the subject to actually have this to work. So I'm gonna take some footage of that white flower there to show you how good this gets. Now obviously, as soon as I put this lens on, you are not gonna be able to see a thing. It's gonna be super blurry. But the closer you get to your subject, that's where I think you get absolute massive benefits from it. I'm just gonna take a quick photo of, a, of a, a comparison between 10 by optical zoom straight out of the iPhone 10, and then with this, exactly the same photo, just have a look at the comparison. It's So that's Thursday, that's this video, that's been on the macro and the fisheye, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try and cut together a 10 to 15 second B-roll sequence with all of the three lenses that you can use somewhere. So uh, until tomorrow, we'll, we'll see you then. Today I'm gonna test out the Oloclip super wide macro and the fisheye lens in a bit of a B-roll sequence. I've just come down just to the local junk yard, which is down near the train line, which is down near the waterway. Waterway's just over there. And I found these old silos. Now, obviously, I'm using the super wide at the moment, so you are getting how big these things are. They're absolutely phenomenal. Let's start a B-roll sequence, just to show off the three lenses you get in the Oloclip iPhone 10 kit. And then tomorrow, I'm going to wrap up my thoughts on the Oloclip system. Right, welcome to Saturday. Uh, just before lunchtime, I'm just going to do a very quick 30 to 60 second wrap up on my thoughts on the Oloclip system. This is for the iPhone 10 variation. Uh, this was. Australian, $159, got it from the Apple store. The little clip system is very easy to use on the edge of the phone. This is a stand, I just don't think it's going to be used that often. This as a key ring clip or a belt clip, it's not too bad if you wanna put it on the back of your backpack or, or something like that, just so you can have easy and quick access to it. The lenses, they seem quite good quality, like proper good metal uh, housing, and they seem durable. This this clip system is based upon a plastic spring system, so it'll be interesting to know how long that will actually last. Uh, that seems like that'll be the first thing to fail rather than the lenses. The lenses, the super wide. The super wide lens, I love it. I think I'm gonna use it all the time and I think it's actually quite a beneficial um, tool just to increase your field of vision on the iPhone 10. The fisheye lens, I think it's a gimmick. I just don't think there's enough use to actually put it in the kit. I prefer something like the telephoto lens or possibly even the ultra wide lens to go with it. 
if you unscrew the fisheye lens, you do get the macro 15 by sort of setup. I absolutely love that for close-up photography. But as far as the clip system goes, look, I think it's I think it's an easy system, very simple to go on and off. For those playing at home, the Oloclip logo there goes to the front of the phone, the front facing camera. So if you kind of pick it up and you don't know which is which, the Oloclip logo, which is just there, always goes to the front facing camera, which allows this back to slot straight over the top of the, uh, the back iPhone 10 camera. So that's been my review. Is it worth $159? I think it's pretty good value and I think it's a pretty decent quality product. So that's the Oloclip. I'll see you next week.